Hello students, today we will study unit number 3 which is transformers. So in this video, we are going to compare two transformers which are core type and shell type or you can say in this video we are going to dis differentiate both of these transformers. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time, let us start this video. So over here, that is the figure of core type transformer in which you can see that the one core is there and that it has two limbs and on both of the limbs on one side high voltage winding is wounded and over here low voltage winding is wounded and over here at these windings are wounded very tight or you can say very nearer to each other so that length of winding is decreased. Similarly, over here, that is the figure of shell type transformer in which that core has three limbs. First limb that is known as central limb and last one is your other limb. And over here, whatever windings are there, they are, they are sandwiched with each other. Means first low voltage winding, then high voltage, low voltage, high voltage. So, its length of winding is increased. So now first we will discuss with the definition. So first definition of core type transformer is what? That a considerable part of core, considerable part of this core of transformer is surrounded by a coil, is surrounded by the coil and that is known as core type transformer. Similarly over here a considerable part of winding, that is your winding, considerable part of winding of transformer is surrounded by shell or you can say surrounded by core, that is why it is known as shell type transformer. Okay, next difference is what? That low voltage and high voltage windings are distributed over two opposite limbs of the core. You can see from the figure. Windings are sandwich, sorry, low voltage and high voltage windings are wounded on the central limb of the core. That is the central limb of the core. Now next is winding are cylindrical type. So from the figure we can say. Windings are sandwich type. Sandwich means one after another. Low voltage, high voltage, low voltage, high voltage like this. Fourth one is what? That suitable for high voltage transformer and that is suitable for low voltage transformer. Next is mean length of coil turns is shorter. As I told you that they are tightly wounded or near to each other they are wounded. That's why its length of coil is less and over here as they are sandwiched so that its length is longer. Okay. Next is it has single magnetic circuit because it has two limbs. So single magnetic circuit and over here it has three limbs. So one over here and another over here. So it has double magnetic circuit or two magnetic circuit. Why? Because it has single, uh, it has two limbs, that's why single magnetic circuit and the core has three limbs, that's why double magnetic circuit. Next is coil can easily remove for maintenance and over here as coil is sandwiched to each other, that's why coil cannot remove easily. And last one is what? Core is either circular or rectangular. That is rectangular. Either it will be circular also. And over here, whatever core is there, that core having three types, rectangular, cylindrical or spiral. So you can take the screenshot also. So that is all about the differentiation or you can say comparison of a core and cell type transformer. So now I would like to end this video. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.